Hello, and welcome to this video presentation of your first Pluto project. This will introduce you to how to work with the ABB Safety PLC Pluto unit. The following video will introduce how the tool Pluto Manager works when working with variable names and variables. This is part 4 in a series of videos. Click on the Pluto D45 unit's variables in the tree to the left. Start with the input I14, that has the Eden sensor connected. Give it a name starting with a prefix, P0. This will help anyone reading the PLC code to easily identify from where the variable originates. Use the description field to give the variable a simple but useful description about its function. Continue by naming inputs I30 and I31, that has the two-channel emergency stop connected, and describe them. Assume that adding a prefix was forgotten. It's easy to automatically have prefixes added by menu clicking variables in the tree to the left. Choose Add Variable Prefixes. However, in this example they will be added manually. Copy and paste the last description and change it so it's clear it's channel 2. Click on the second Pluto unit, Node 1's variables. The input I11 is the input part of the light button. As can be seen under the I.O. options. The output part is Q11, as shown in the Non-Safe Outputs tab. Give the two I.O.s suitable names, with prefixes. It's important to understand that the input part and the output part is connected to the same physical terminal. In the project they must be separated. This is why there is an input part and an output part. Please remember that it's possible to automate the adding of prefixes. Don't forget the description that makes it easy to understand each variable's function. The safe outputs in a D45 can't be configured. However, adding suitable variable names to them is good programming practice, and will make it easier to understand the project. In this part of the series it was shown how to add variable names and comments. Use these to make it easy to understand the program. The next part, in this video series, We'll show how to create a small PLC program for the robot cell.